underrated local streetwear brand? For me, the most underrated. For me, it's... Sa akin, uh, uh, favorite ko talaga. I'll give two. Or three. Actually, three. Actually, marami na pala ako pwedeng sabihin siya. Eh. What's happening everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dani, also known as Street by Dani. And if you love sneakers and streetwear, then this channel is for you. So make sure to subscribe. Alright, so for today's video, I'll be going back to my local streetwear roots. Because it's been a while since I posted a streetwear video content, diba guys? And today, I'll be going to two sneaker shops and I'll be meeting some of my sneakerhead friends. At dahil streetwear content to, I'll be asking them kung ano ang sa tingin nila ang isa sa mga underrated local streetwear brands here in the Philippines. And after that, I'll be rounding all of their answers and I will make a list kung ano yung 10 na most underrated local streetwear brands. I also asked sa aking Instagram story. So, sa mga sumagot, thank you so much guys for answering. So, let's go! No bias, huh? it's it's so good. Yeah. I love that brand so much. Shout out to Lawrence, he's Yay. the best. Lawrence, it's so good. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you guys can visit Psycho here at Ronox Art Center at the fourth floor. Thank you. For me, it's Secret Fresh. Because very ano sila eh. And dami nilang collabs, chaka quality yung mga kino collab nila na brands. Alright, thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Dan. Sa akin, um, yung HSO, if alam nyo yun, um, kasi natry ko nang bumili sa kanila and hindi nakaka-disappoint yung quality ng products nila. If you like something na yung kakaiba yung cut niya, kasi may sarili silang cut dun sa mga shirts nila. Yun, sobrang okay sa Yung price range niya, sobrang okay din. Budget-friendly siya para dun sa stuff na makukuha mo in return. So, yun yung sa akin. Guess the price. Price 12 grand view. How much? 15. 12. 12. 12. Swak yung kay Dani. Size 12. Ay, tapos 10,000. Nice! Sibilis. Nike SB Dunk Low. Brand new, size 11. 60, 60, 60 40. 35. Ah! Nice to. Ayan, bibili to. <laughs> <laughs> bibili na yan ni Jay. Nagbudol na sa chef. Ito to, size ko to. Museum exclusive. MCA. MCA. Ay, museum pare. of Contemporary. Ibang, ibang, ibang museum. Ibang museum. Basta <laughs> museum. <laughs> Brand new. Hindi. Size 9. Joke, grand new pala to. Two hundred fifty. Small two hundred ninety five. Ah, para sa akin yung kay so good. Kasi yung parang sa mga sneakerheads katulad ko na relate sa mga t-shirts. Saka yung quality on point talaga. Tapos very versatile yung mga damit. Bagay sa mga oversized katulad ko. Saka yung mga message sa sa ano na relate talaga. Ay nakakatawa sa akin. Thank you. Tell 
look around, said he been around. Down is in the spot, 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 spot. spot, spot. I think hindi naman masyadong obvious, no? Pero favorite ko talaga si Gunner. Shout out to you, Boss August. Mag-release ka pa ng maraming, ano, <laughs> designs. I love yung um, vintage na effect nung, ano, nung t-shirt. And yung fit niya sa akin maganda. Actually, ah, yung The No Good Crew. Yun yung brand ng kaibigan ko from Cebu, kay Chad Nimor. Kapatid ng Nicotomatic. Yung kanyang focus ngayon is yung quality ng ng materials used and then yung ano yung pagkatahe etc yun yung kanyang focus saka yung fit medyo hindi siya yung super streetwear more feel ko nagpupuro siya sa workwear streetwear i mean yung ganong klasing style so yun thank you Jay. underrated local streetwear brand siguro i can mention a couple of uh, streetwear brands that i know of from the top of my mind merong brand akong uh, na discover late last year yung swanky This is a Pasig uh, based brand. Tapos uh, another one is yung favorite brand ko kasi friend ko yung may-ari niyan. That's Stock Manila. Hindi siya active ngayon sa pag-release pero I've been supporting him since 2015, 2014 kung first niya mga releases. And since nasa unbox tayo ngayon, unbox green nails, i-plug ko na rin si This is uh, one of the renters. Ayan. This is Matli brand. Very minimalist lang siya. So yun. Siguro, I'll, I'll give two or three, actually three. Actually, marami naman pala ako pwedeng sabihin siya. Eh. So, yung, uh, yung, yung nag-introduce sa akin to local streetwear, hindi sila DBTK or the more famous ones. Eh. It was actually a good friend of Farsi Rabi. So, yung above the ankle. Siya yung makulit na humatak sa akin sa mga events. Inikot niya ako, pinakilala niya ako sa mga sneaker shops. So, that will always be like a very special brand na it's very personal to me. Uh, second would obviously be oh, di ko alam if it still counts as underrated kasi sikat na siya pero syempre secret fresh di ba? idol natin si Biggs iconic naman siya and, and how he's trailblazed like streetwear in terms of yung how he does it like partnering with get, getting licenses uh, doing massive collaborations I think has paved the way for a lot of other local brands so he's he kind of set the stage and showed na you can professionalize it and really turn it into a, a solid business And last year, of course, you'll support your own, di ba siya? Woo! Pink attack, di ba? So, shout out kila Salm, tsaka kila Dwight. Uh, I, I really like them kasi they're very unique, di ba? With the techwear angle. Yun nga lang, ang hirap mag-techwear sa Pilipinas. Daming layers, pero at least nagagawa na lang paraan, di ba? Kasi you can actually do techwear even in warm weather. So, yun. If I were to sum it up ako, yung tatlong yun. Tsaka shout out, of course, sa It's All Good. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Sir Carlo. Huwag mo tatanggalin ito dahil niya. Stephonair takes over. Kala mo vlog ko eh no? Alright, so we are now here at the house and nandito na yung listahan guys ng mga utang, char, joke lang, nung mga underrated local streetwear brands. So now I will be naming the 10 underrated local streetwear brands here in the Philippines in no particular order guys ha, so hindi siya in order. So the first underrated local streetwear brand is the No Good Crew. So they are a local streetwear brand based in Cebu. And when I checked their Instagram guys, ang ganda ng mga kanilang cargo pants and cargo shorts. Plano ko yata bumili nito as soon as I finish this video. And ang maganda rin sa kanila guys is that yung kanilang sizing runs from a extra small to a 3XL. So sobrang ganda guys, do check them out. All right, so next up we have Rich Boys. Guys, kung hindi niyo alam to, do check them out. Ang ganda ng mga hoodies nila and sweatpants. Parang set na rin siya actually. Really really nice, very very minimal yung kanilang designs pero ang ganda ng quality kasi I had the chance to check out their products when I was at the Stockroom Warehouse event and isa lang masabi ko maganda talaga ang quality ng kanilang products. 
Next up, we have is Antibiotic Smile. Guys, ang ganda ng mga designs nito. Super fun, super retro. And their designs are illustrated by Jetro Olba, if I'm not mistaken. And I had the chance to see him in action actually nung opening nung Nike Fort. If hindi nyo pa napanood yung video ko na yun, I will place the link up here. And actually, nahiya lang ako mag-usap sa kanya kasi he was illustrating sa mga sneakers nung time na yun. Pero ang galing niya talaga. Very unique nung kanyang style. So, do check out his brand, Antibiotic Smile. Next, we have is Hustle Club. So, guys, I recently got to cop their collaboration shirt with Kings of the Court nung sa Stockroom event. And ang ganda ng quality rin nila. Their designs are also very unique. And ang alam ko, guys, ang dami ng PBA players na sinusuot ko tong Hustle Club. So, shout out to Chal Nolasco, the owner of Hustle Club. Galing mo, bro. Keep hustling. Alright, so next on my list, like what Carlo Ople and Lerwin Yap said, we have Secret Fresh. So, if you guys don't know, ang may ari ng Secret Fresh is Big Boy Cheng. Of course, kilala nyo si Big Boy Cheng, di ba? And what I love about his brand is that doon napupunta yung kanyang creative side naman ni Big Boy Chen because we know, diba, that he's a big sneaker collector. Pero dito sa brand niya na Secret Fresh, dito niya nalalagay yung kanyang mga creative ideas and when he collabs with other brands sobrang ganda ng mga nagagawa nilang products so, so kudos to you sir big boy cheng alam ko hindi nyo pa kilala pero <laughs> hopefully soon i get to meet you as well so next on our list we have is hso guys tama ang sinabi ni lawrence from it's all good ang ganda talaga ng quality ng kanilang products ibang klase and they have a lot of products to offer like from leather jacket cargo pants. Meron pa sila yung mga polo. Ang ganda talaga. Sobrang quality and very underrated talaga itong brand na to. So, I do recommend you guys checking them out. Money's worth talaga yung kanilang mga products. So, our next underrated local streetwear brand. Ito guys, alam ko marami sa mga kakilala ko na favorite nila itong brand na to. It is Gunner Clothing. So, what I love about this brand guys is that ang ganda nung story behind their brand. And also, ang ganda ng quality ng kanilang shirts. I got to cop their FNF logo tee. Sobrang soft ng tela. Hindi siya mainit sa katawan. Ang ganda pa ng bagsak ng shirt sa akin. So, props to you guys. Shout out to August. Sobrang galing mo, bro. And I hope mas marami pa makakilala nitong brand ito. Kasi, I definitely see the passion behind the brand. And that's why I love supporting local streetwear brands. Because you support small business owners and then you also support their dreams and goals and their passion, diba? So guys, alam yun na, hashtag support local. Alright, so we are now down to our last three underrated local streetwear brands. Next up, we have Kings of the Court. So ayan guys, as you can see, I am representing Kings of the Court also today with my cap. And guys, hindi lang caps meron sila. They have shirts, basketball shorts, they have face masks. Sobrang galing nitong brand na to guys. And what I love the most about them is that their proceeds go to painting and rebuilding basketball courts. So sobrang ganda ng vision nitong brand na to. So kudos to you Cholo, sobrang galing mo. I love your passion and gusto ko yung story mo behind the brand. So next up we have is Sneak Attack. Guys, kung hindi nyo alam ang Sneak Attack, do check them out. And if you're into tech wear, this is the brand for you. Grabe ang ganda ng kanilang products. Very futuristic ng designs. And speaking of future, I think they're the first streetwear brand that I know na meron ng NFT na designs. If you guys want to know what that is, we actually talked about it sa stockroom episode namin sa Beyond the Hype. I will link the video up here on the card so you can check them out. And I also got the chance to meet the guys behind Sneak Attack who is Sir Dwight and Sir Salm. Sobrang galing nyo po. And hopefully I get to cop more products from you guys soon. Ipon lang muna ako pero I'm so excited to cop your jacket. Sobrang ganda ng mga quality and then your pants. Sobrang galing. So do check them out guys. So last but not least, this next brand is the most voted actually dito sa video na to. And it is... It's so good! Woo! 
Congrats, Lawrence! So if you guys don't know, it's so good. This brand is mainly focused for sneakerheads. So yung mga kanilang design is yung mga nakaka-relate, yung mga sneakerheads like this one nakalagay, Manifest the Wins. Dahil palagi tayo nakakuha ng mga L sa sneaker raffle, binigyan niya tayo ng reminder to manifest or manalo tayo sa next sneaker raffle. This is one of my favorite shirts. I actually met Lawrence through the sneaker community as well. And I am so happy that his brand is getting more attention now. Parang every drop niya, nasusold out yung kanyang mga shirts. Sobrang galing mo, bro. Congrats. And ito rin pala, guys. I will plug na rin. He will be releasing two new designs sa Unbox Con. So, sa June 18, guys, punta lang kayo sa booth ni It's Soul Good. May surprise actually doon pag punta niyo sa booth. Pero hindi ko muna sasabihin. Pero, ito yung mga designs na ilalabas niya. I will pop it here. So, bali, he has the BNDS na shirt and the No Dubs, No Prob na shirt. So, if you guys want to cop these new designs on BoxCon, agahan nyo, guys. And punta kayo kaagad sa booth bago mag-sold out, guys. And ito rin pala. Ang dami kong pinag ngayon, no? Endorser pala ako ng It's All Good. Joke lang. So, bali, for the first 50 customers, meron po kayong libreng brief. Yes, guys. Tama. Brief talaga. I will place the photos over here, may libre po kayong briefs. And if you guys are wondering about the sizing, you can check out It's Soul Goods Instagram. For sure, he will be posting the size charts there. And if pupunta kayo ng unbox con, pwede nyo naman tanungin yung mga nasa boot ni It's Soul Goods. Kasi alam ko mababait yung mga yun eh. So, I think I already mentioned the 10 underrated local streetwear brands. I hope you guys do check them out. I will place all their links below. And if you guys want a part 2 of this video, you can comment below. So, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't followed me on my socials, you can follow me at Street by Danny on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Alright? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the next video. Danny out! She